Hello YouTube and this is real quick guys, uh, this is uh, interesting because I watched, you know, tons of, there's a tons of videos on YouTube about EDC or everyday carry and I thought, wow, I, I should probably post like what is my kind of a latest um, objects I'm wearing because it, it, the thing is when you wear with your stuff, it's very, has to be very functional and very minimal, you don't want to, you know, have a full of your pockets. And, uh, you know, some stuff you can put in it, you know, inside your bag and uh, like a messenger bag. But if you just keep it in inside your pockets, it has to be really something small, mobile. And uh, so I decided to do, um, you know, about my EDC, what objects. And of course, this is iPhone. And in my case, I have, um, you know, this is 13 Pro, but uh, this is a case by Quadlock and I really love it. And, uh, you know, uh, those who drive in motorcycles, uh, you guys probably know the quad look. It's a you know fantastic brand name. Um, you could depends on your model. You can have 14 iPhone 14 or whatever 15 or Samsung Galaxy or whatever. Uh, you can get the case specifically, and there's a mount. You have to buy also mount on the motorcycle or bicycle for that matter. Uh, it's a it's really it's a a fantastic very durable this one i had for quite a few years and it's it's just great it's uh, you know it's not like brittle plastic it's kind of a slightly kind of like a flexible it feels good uh, very functional just you know love the quad look big fan and i had a few of them uh on my bikes and uh and i had on previous model which was like iphone whatever 7s uh so it, it you know served me well Anyway, okay, let's move on. One of my favorite latest edition, and this is my wallet. And this is very minimalistic, and I bought it just literally a few weeks ago. I just love this thing. So this is fantastic. Uh, very small, compact. You can carry your like, ID uh, right here. So I'm not going to show you guys my, my license, but if you, you know, put the driver license in here, you know, this is AirTag, which is simple. You just, un, uh, you know, unbutton this one if you want to replace the batteries on the AirTag. Uh, there's a one, two, three slots for credit cards. And uh, and there is one more here, um, you know, and there is also a little pocket here for the cash. And I don't carry usually much of a cash, this, but that's why it's kind of, the, there's no coins anymore. Nobody uses coins anymore. There's all, pretty much all transactions is... Uh, cashless nowadays, <laughs> so I don't see the point of even having those big wallets, and I just love this one. It sits in your pocket, it, you know, it's, it's 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 flat, and you can track it down if you lost it, even if you lost it inside your house, you can find it pretty quick with your iPhone uh, app, you know, the I, you know find the AirTag. Um, so the AirTags are great, same for my keys, uh, this is car keys, and I have on a few motorcycle keys. Uh, you put the air tag here, and I just love this one because you also can track it down if you lost it. Uh, so or even if you lost in the house and then, you know somewhere in the pockets when you're changing clothes, this, I just love the air tags are fantastic. I I got a few of them on my motorcycle keys, and uh, this is just I think you must have now uh, one of those like EDC. Uh, must have objects. So anyway, this is great. Highly recommend it. I think it's only 15 bucks or maybe 20 bucks. I'm gonna put the guys the links for you. Another one which is cool. This is my latest edition. This is nice by Smith and Wesson. Uh, this is fantastic little tool. It's a kind of like a pocket knife. They call it like a clam on Amazon, but it's um, it's Benji by Smith and Wesson. So as you can see, this is actually in great here. Love the Smith and Wesson. And this is just fantastic. It's got like opener. Look at my hand. It's just really nothing. And I put it on my belt. This clip is pretty tough. I'll put it on my belt. And um, you see this tab? This is to assist to open up. And it's kind of like a um, Japanese style um, knife. It's kind of like a folding pocket knife slash like box cutter. Uh, really fantastic. To fold it, you just, you know, there's a spring inside. And it just, it, and it goes nowhere. It's, it's just really, it's all aluminum handle, has some texture here. Uh, pretty, pretty grippy texture, bottle opener. 
nice little. Uh, this is my favorite right now. I just I just wear it on my belt uh, every day. That's it's, it's literally every day I carry. So the one I had before is Swiss Army. Of course, everyone knows, and I do love this one. I had this one for a year. This is actually from uh, one of my friends gift, and um, it's got all the kind of cool tools like a little tweezers and it's got like even toothpick here and uh, but a lot of those blades i never really use it much uh, and of course this is just regular blade um this one i kind of like it de depends on what you know so the way you're going and sometimes i rotate between this one and my other one is a leatherman which is kind of a cool it's got the pliers so uh this leatherman kind of a pretty useful depends on situation and uh, i got a little some actually additional tools like addition to it and uh it's 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 a cool it's, this is actually made in the us and and again this back i believe back in 90s this is in portland oregon now it's all the chinese made it's hard to get original one this is also um you know this is you know back in the days they used to be in switzerland and the real swiss steel and now it's just a cheaper version so let me show you this is like what they sell right now and it's kind of a cheap crop probably made in china it, it says a swiss steel but uh they all made in china so this is original leatherman and let me show you i have when I do some project running around, I do like using this pouch. I bought this on Amazon. This is a nice little pouch. So I have this one just kind of rotating and they all fit pretty well. And uh, this is flashlight. This is just kind of a small tactical light. Just one AA batteries. Fantastic. You just, it fits. This pouch fits all one inch kind of a diameter flashlights. So it's really, and there's a, this has like a clip here on the belt clip. It sits pretty firm. So you can do it also, you can get it all the way through, but it fits pretty firm. This is nice little pouch. All, all I would do just harden up a little, it has to be a little stiffer when wobble around. I think it's, you could do like a put a wax and put it like, an, apply some heat to it. Uh, there's a tons of features. But anyway, about the knives, let's do it. Let's do it kind of like there's a lot of controversy. The, what really, for EDC, which one is the best? And you can carry all this, they're all kind of a similar size. And let's say this Leatherman here. Okay, so you could go, I personally love this one because it's got everything. It doesn't have like, it has a bottle opener. It doesn't have like this bottle opener like here, you know, uh, like a wine opener. So this one doesn't, so, but this one, there's a lot of Swiss Army knives, they do have this one. And um, for me, I personally like, this is almost like I usually need to cut some boxes. This clam or whatever, Smith & Wesson Benji tool, that's all I really need. But if I go like a camping, I really need something bigger when you're camping, when you're outdoors. I like the simple, and this is another one, this is Smith & Wesson knife. This is fantastic, uh, really. Uh, this is spring assisted. So you have to be kind of like, there's a lock. You see, unlock it. And this is spring assisted knife. So this is Smith & Wesson. I've been using it for years now. Fantastic aluminum handle too. For like um, going to camp, this is probably the good option to go. And, and you know, there's a spring too when you push it in. So it fits here well, it's got a belt clip fits here well uh, in this pouch. This is probably the one I like kind of like for the camping. Another one, um, this is, I bought actually in Spain, in Toledo, and this is a little more bigger, but it still will fit. And this is good for outdoors. It's got a bottle opener here. And uh, um, I forgot what it's called. It's actually like a warrior, something like this. So this is beautiful, really. Um, Oh, about seven, eight inches, seven and a half inches. Um, really cool for the camping and stuff. It's got this little fly, which is kind of like, I think this knife was famous for, you know, thousands of years. I think it's been, came to Spain from uh, North Africa. So 
and uh, I I do love this. It's it, you know they do this style in Toledo for for years and years, and they got like few different varieties, like few different sizes. But my wife even using it for kitchen. But for camping, I love this one. And what I do, I usually put, and it actually will fit in here in this pouch, and that's it. And it has like a little like a tap here for the. Um, I, this is a Parker, like this is the smallest I have, the pen. But this is probably would be good for my, or just running around, it depends on your project around the house, you put on your belt and that's it. So I love this one. Uh, and But if I want something lighter, that would be great. I love this little like Smith & Wesson knife. So I just put this in. It kind of matches this black flashlight. And that's it, I think, I'm not so sure Leatherman, and um, I kind of don't hardly use it anymore. And it's not really, honestly, it's not in my rotation. Uh, still love the Swiss Army. I think quality is diminished over the years because the older one, as you can see, actually this one much better. This is back, this is probably like a 30 years old knife. And uh, those are like Swiss made, much better than this, whatever later Chinese made. But the my biggest actually improvements is I love this wallet, I love this little clam, and let's put this aside. And air tags, it's just fantastic. And of course the iPhone, this is all all I really <laughs> need. So sometimes, before I forget, sometimes I'm using this measure tape, and this is the smallest I can find. Uh, I think this is a six, I put the six feet, I believe, and this is by Milwaukee. It has like a little, you know, you can clip it on your belt. Uh, so what I like about this one, it has, um, you know, imperial and metric system. It has inches and uh, centimeters and millimeters on the other side. And fantastic little tape. Um, I think I picked up in Home Depot. Again, it's uh, Milwaukee, kind of like industrial style. Very cool. Six feet is more than enough to measure these little things. Um, Really love it, guys, and I always keep it in my pocket if I go, especially when I go shopping, I'm going to buy some something I always have to measure. I mean, measure tape is kind of actually important. This is pretty much what it is here. It's all I really need. And again, this is mostly for camping or running around the house. And if I have a project, I don't have to carry this one. Uh, and, of course, if you have a firearm, that's a whole different story. There would, would be... Uh, my uh, next video in the future, which I'm looking for one, but that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, please, uh, I'd like to see some comments. What do you guys uh, carry every day? And uh, if you have any advices, so uh, if you have to add something, I would love to to know. And thanks again. Bye.